Good morning, my dear students. I am Muhammad Bahaddin, working as an assistant professor in ISL Engineering College, which is approved by AICT, affiliated to the Usmania University in Hyderabad. So today, in these sessions, we are going to learn next problem on the pair of state teeth on a spur gear we are going to learn the first of all i will read the question okay a pair of straight teeth spur gear having 20 degree in value full depth so this means that the spur gear is having the angle of 20 degree in value full depth alpha is given as 20 degree is to transmit the power the power is given as 12 kilowatt is given at a speed of 300 rpm of the pinion so here n1 value is given as 300 rpm and power is given as 12 kilowatt is gi is given okay the speed ratio nothing but i is equal to n2 by n1 is equal to 3 is to 1 so 3 is to 1 we can represent as 3 by 1 okay then the available static stress for a gear of a cast iron and pinion of a steel so here the static strength for the gear is given as 16 newton per mm square and the static stress for the pinion it is given as 105 newton per mm square so in this problem we need to assume the sum value the number of teeth of the pinion it is given as 16 and face width is given as 14 times the module okay the velocity factor the velocity factor it is represented by cv is equal to 4.5 by 4.5 v v nothing but the linear velocity we can say that or we can say it is a v nothing but pitch line also okay pitch line velocity we can say that so this velocity pitch line velocity we are measured in the meter per second and tooth form factor y is given as y how much is given y is equal to given as 0 0.154 minus 0 0.912 by number of teeth is given so and it, so in this in this problem what we need to determine the first thing is we need to we need to determine the module we need to find out the value of m we need to find out okay dear and the second thing is we need to find out the face width and pitch diameter of the gear we need to find out what we need to find out face width we need to find out along with the pitch diameter face width it is represented by b and pitch diameter of the gear d we need to find out in this problem check the gear for wear given the endurance limit limiting stress is given as 600 newton per mm square and the modulus of elasticity for pinion is given as 2 into 10 power of 5 newton per mm square and the modulus of elasticity of the gear is given as 1 into 10 power of 5 newton per mm square so find the dynamic load what we need to find out in this problem dear we need to find out the dynamic load we need to find out and compare it with the wear load compare it with the wear load and suggest the suitable and also find power that can be transmitted clear so first of all you need to write down the given data here the full invalute it is given as here it is having the 20 degree full invalute is invalute 
full depth is given as alpha equal to 20 degree and the power is given as 12 kilowatt so 12 as it is close nothing but 10 power of 3 watt the speed of the pinion is given as 300 rpm how much is given 300 rpm is given so our intention is that we want to convert in the rps if you want to convert in the rps just you need to divide by 60 then it convert into the rps and the transmission ratio is given as i equal to 3 and the static strength of the pinion sigma d1 is given as 105 and the static strength of the gear is given as 60 the static strength of the gear is given as sigma d2 equal to 60 newton per mm square and the number of the teeth on the pinion z1 is given as 16 mm and the number of teeth on the gear it is given as z2 is equal to we have the formula <coughs> i is equal to z2 by z1 i nothing but the power transmission should be equal to the number of teeth of the spur gear z1 nothing but the number of teeth of the pinion we can say that if you multiply i into z1 equal to z2 so z2 we can present here z2 equal to i into z1 i the power transmission how much we got here i value is 3 and z1 value is how much we got the number of teeth on the pinion is 16 16 into 3 if you multiply then you will get the answer is 48 so this 48 it is indicate that 48 it is a indicate that the number of teeth on the gear how much is there the number of teeth on the gear is how much 48 the number of teeth on the pinion how much we got 16 after that we need to find out the face width we need to find out face width already is given in the question face width b should be equal to 14 module 14 into m we have the formula of load factor what is the formula k is equal to b by m k is equal to b by m so here we can represent here instead of k equal to we can present as 14 mm we can present the models of elasticity in the given data only in the models of elasticity of the pinion it is given as 2 into 10 power of 5 into 10 per mm square the models of elasticity of the gear it is given as e2 is equal to 1 into 10 power of 5 newton per mm square endurance limit strength sigma es endurance limiting stress equal to 600 newton per mm square so in this problem what we need to find out the first thing is we need to find out the value of the form factor we need to find out form factor we have the formula y1 is equal to pi into y1 pi as it is y1 already is given the question 0 0.154 minus 0 0.912 by z1 0 0.154 as it is minus 0 0.912 as it is z1 z1 nothing but the number of teeth on the pinion how much we find here z1 value is 16 just you need to substitute over here 0 0.912 by 16 so if you are Subtract this value as well as if you are multiply with 3.142 then you will get the value of form factor is 0 0.3047 after the getting the value of form factor of the pinion we need to same thing we need to find out for the gear so we have to use the formula for the form factor y2 is equal to pi into y2 pi as it is y2 nothing but 0 0.154 minus 0 0.912 by z2 so pi as it is 0 0.154 minus 0 0.912 912 by z2 nothing but 48 so if you divide this both the value as well as if you multiply with 3.142 then you will get the value of the form factor for the gear is 0 0.4241 after that we need to write down this table or column in the table columns in which first parameter is we are using the two type of the gear one is the gear another one is the pinion first write down the pinion the number of the teeth z1 how much we got here the number of teeth of the pinion is how much 16 the number of teeth of the gear is how much is there 48 Okay, the number of teeth of the gear is how much is there? 48. So, allowable static stress of the pinion is given as 105. Now, static strength of the gear it is given as 60. 
the form factor for the pinion already we got how much 0 0.3047 and the form factor for the gear already we how much we find here 0 0.4241 clear and then after that we need to multiply this allowable static stress into form factor sigma d into y this 105 into 0 0.3047 if you multiply then you will get the strength factor value 31.99 okay and then 60 into 0 0.4241 then you will get the answer is 25.45 so this means that this 31.39 should be greater than the 25.5 25.45 so for that reason we can say that the strength of the pinion is greater than the strength of the gear because the strength factor of the pinion is greater than the gear clear so design is based on the gear because who is the weaker section here the weaker is only gear only for that reason we need to design on the gear so if you want to design on the gear so write down the value of this one z2 is 48 sigma d2 is nothing but 60 newton per mm square and the form factor y2 is 0 0.4241 and after that i is equal to n2 by n1 n2 is equal to n1 by i we can represent here so after that here power is given here 12 kilo watt if you convert here 12 into the power 3 watt so n2 n2 is equal to n1 by i so n1 nothing but the speed of the pinion is 300 i is given as 3 okay if you divide the value so i what we can say is dear i we can say as the transmission ratio how much we got here 3 300 by 3 if you divide then you will get the value of the speed of this per gear should be 100 rpm n2 is equal to how much 5 by 3 then you will get the answer is 1.66 rps after that we need to find out the value of power p is equal to our what is our intention is there in this problem we need to find out the torque we need to find out for that reason we have to go for formula of power power is equal to 2 pi n2 t by 60 into 1000 power p how much we got here 12 into number of 3 2 into pi n2 how much 100 into torque by 60 into 1000 if you cross multiply here 12 into number of 3 into 60 into 1000 equal to 2 into 3.142 into 100 into t if you divide this value then you will get the value of torque is a moment of torque we can say that is 1145915.5902 newton per mm square after the getting the value of moment of the torque we need to find out the value of this m k y2 and z2 we need to find out for that reason we have to first of all you have to write down this formula of a module m is equal to cube root 2 into moment of torque into sigma d2 the static strength of this per gear into cv what we can say the velocity factor value and k nothing but the load factor value y2 nothing but the form factor value and z2 nothing but the number of teeth of this per gear clear so if you remove this cube root it's become as a 1 by 3 if it is moved toward here it's be, it's make as a power is m cube equal to 2 into moment of torque by sigma d2 into cv into k into y2 into z2 so it is considered as equation number a so after that first of all what we need to find out our intention is we need to find out the value of velocity factor value cv value we need to find out for that reason first of all we need to use the formula cv is equal to here 4.5 by 4.5 plus v we have the formula for that reason first of all we need to find out the value of pitch line we have the formula v is equal to pi d1 n1 by 1000 pi as it is we have the formula of module what is the formula m is equal to d1 by z1 so if you multiply m into z1 equal to d1 so instead of d1 you are to represent here m1 into z1 m1 into z1 into n1 as it is by 1000 so after that pi as it is so here module already we find it here into 16 because we don't know the value of module we need to find out is it right to so keep as it is only so z1 nothing but number of teeth on the pinion is we know very well 16 into n1 nothing but the speed of the pinion is 5 rps by 
1000 if you divide this value 3.142 into 16 into 5 by 1000 you will get the answer is 0 0.2513 model as it is the velocity we are measuring in meter per second after that we need to substitute this value in the velocity factor value we have the formula cv is equal to 4.5 by 4.5 plus v we have the value is 0 0.2513 meter okay so keep as it is only after that we know very well here load factor already is given k value how much protein is given so this cv and k value we need to substitute in the equation number a m cube as it is 2 into moment of torque <coughs> is 1145915.5905 by sigma d2 value how much is there 60 into cv value how much is there 4.5 by 4.5 plus 0 0.2513 module keep as it is only this value keep as it is only k is 14 y2 how much is there form factor value is how much we got 0 0.4241 and that to nothing but the number of teeth of the spur gear is how much is there 48 so after that after that so this value will move above so it become as 2 into 1145915.5905 this matrix or uh, this bracket will appear move above 4.5 plus 0.2513 module after that if you cross multiply these terms then you will get the value of model m3 is how much 133.318 okay if you multiply 29.626 into 4.5 you, you will get 133.318 plus if you multiply 29.626 into 0 0.2513 then you will get the value is 7.44 module so if this value would move towards this side means it become as negative so here this positive become as negative here minus 7.44 module minus 133.318 module 38 equal to 0 so it is a form of a x cube plus b x square plus cx plus d equal to 0 here b x square value is 0 here c value is minus 1.44 d value is minus 133.318 if you substitute in the equation a x square plus x is equal to minus b under root of b square minus 4 ac by 2a if you, have, if, you have, if you want you can go for it otherwise you can go for calci also with the help of calci you can easily get the value of module how much 6 mm you can easily get after the getting the value of module you have to go for face width we have the formula b is equal to 4, 14 module 14 into module how much is there 6 so 14 into 6 you will be get 84 mm after the getting the value of face width we need to find out the value of diameter of the pinion we need to find out as well as diameter of the gear we need to find out so we have the formula m equal to d1 by z1 if you multiply it should become as d1 is equal to m into z1 we can say that so modulo how much is there 6 and the number of teeth of the pinion is how much is there 16 if you multiply 6 module into number of teeth of the pinion then you will get the diameter of the pinion you can easily get if you want to find out that is the most important here then how to design the diameter of the pinion and diameter of gear because here in this problem the diameter of gear is not given as well as diameter of the pinion also not given with the help of this formula we can easily find out what is the diameter of the pinion what is the diameter of the gear so d2 is equal to m into z2 so here model is given as 6 and the z2 is given as 48 if you multiply this 6 into 48 then you will get the 288 module after that we need to find out the central distance between the two shaft the, the center distance between the gear as well as the center distance between the pinion we need to find out for that reason we have to use the formula is a is equal to d1 plus d2 by 2 so d1 nothing but the diameter of the pinion plus d2 nothing but the diameter of the gear by 2 the diameter of the pinion is how much is the 96 plus diameter of the gear is 288 by 2 if you divide the value then you will get the answer is 192 mm after that we need to find out the stress factor we need to find out so if you want to find out the stress factor we have the formula k is equal to sigma es means endurance strength of the stress whole square into sine alpha by 1.4 in bracket 1 by e1 nothing but the modulus of elasticity of the 
pinion e to nothing but the modulus of elasticity of the spur gear so you have to refer the, from the page number 12.15d and from the problem number is to uh, from the page number is 208 okay dear from the design the handbook by mahadevan sigma e is already we find dear 600 over square sin as it is alpha already is there 20 degree full in value 20 by 1.4 so modulus of elasticity of the pinion is 2 into number of 5 plus modulus of elasticity of the gear 1 into number of 5 if it is even e2 is given then only you have to go for this formula if even e2 is not given there is no need to go for this formula clear here if you divide the whole the value then you will get the answer is 1.32 after that we have to go for wear load we have to find out if you want to find out the wear load you have to refer this equation from the page number 208 and equation number is 12.15a so d one nothing but 96 and b is the width how much we got here 84 q for q we have the formula q is equal to 2 z2 by z1 plus z2 so 2 z2 value is how much is there 48 by z1 value is how much is there 16 z1 nothing but the number of teeth of the pinion plus number of teeth of the gear 16 plus 48 so if you divide this whole the value then you will get the value of q is equal to how much 1.1.5 just you need to substitute over here and k nothing but the load factor is 1.32 if you multiply this term then you will get the wear load value is how much 15966.72 newton after that we have to find out the power developed due to the wear we need to find out so for that reason we have to go for p kilowatt is equal to fw into v by thousand fw is wear load how much we got here 15966.72 into here power velocity or we can say as the linear velocity how much we got here with the help of this formula you can find v is equal to pi d1 n1 by 1000 pi into d1 nothing but diameter of the pinion is 96 n1 nothing but speed of the pinion is 5 by 1000 if you divide the whole the value then you will get the answer of v is equal to how much 1.50 meter per second so just you need to substitute over here 1.50 by 1000 if you divide this value then you will get the value of power developed due to the wear is how much is that 24.07 kilowatt so this means that okay it's this 24.07 kilowatt should be greater than the 12 kilowatt so the design is safe for this standpoint of wear clear again if, if the design is safe then we have to find out the dynamic factor we need to find out if you want to find out this dynamic factor you have to go for the page number 207 and equation is 12.12 and c is equal to dynamic factor equal to maximum is indicate that the maximum error by k1 nothing but load factor in bracket 1 by e1 nothing but the modulus of elasticity of the pinion plus 1 by e2 nothing but e2 only e2 nothing but the modulus of elasticity of the gear okay here so here k1 is we are taking as 9 for the 20 degree full depth in value process purpose as well as choose the class third precision gear table number 12.3 page number 236 from that one you can easily find out the maximum error value is equal to how much 0.0172 mm just you need to substitute this value here 0.0172 divided by k1 value is 9 bracket 1 by the modulus of elasticity of the pinion is 2 into 10 power 5 plus the modulus of elasticity of the gear is 1 into the power 5 if we divide the whole the value then you will get the answer is c is equal to 127.407 so c is nothing but the dynamic factor value how much we got it here 127.407 after the finding the value of dynamic factor we need to find out the value of how much tangential factor we need to find out if you want to find out the tangential factor you have to follow this formula tangential force is equal to 2 into mt by d equal to 2 mt by d2 as gear is weak so already is this formula is given in the question the same concept we have to follow here too as it is the moment of torque is 1145 by d2 is how much 288 if you divide this whole the value then you will get the tangential force is 7957.74 newton 
After the finding the value of tangential factor, we need to find out the dynamic load we need to find out because the tangential force is acting as well as the dynamic force is acting on the component as well as on the face of the gear. Clear? So, Ft is equal to Ft equal to Ft plus K3 V Cb plus Ft by K3 into V plus an root of Cb in plus Ft. So, tangential force is 7957.74 plus K the load factor value and the linear velocity values how much is that 1.50 and C value is 127.407 into B width is 84 plus tangential force is 7957.74 the same as it is you have, you have to keep over here so after that 7957.74 if you divide this whole the value then you will get the answer is 3455.927 if you add in this value then you will get 11413.66 newton so so dynamic load efd is how much is there 11413.66 newton so this means that the wear force should be greater than dynamic force for that reason we can say that our design is totally safe if it is fw value should be lesser than fd so we can say that design is not safe is it right but wearing force should be greater than the dynamic force or we can say as a dynamic load so that's what the wear force should be greater than the dynamic force for that reason we can say that the design is completely safe we need to proceed it after that we have to find out the tangential to load we need to find out we have the formula for the tangential to the load is f T2 is equal to sigma D2 into CV into B into Y2 into module sigma DT. So sigma D2 means nothing but the static strength of the spur gear is how much is given 60 is given. CV how much is given? So with the help of this formula 4.5 by 4.5 plus V from this one we can easily find out the value of CV is how much is that 0 0.75. Just you need to substitute over here. Face width is 84 and y2 values how much is the form factor value is 0.4241 into module is 6 if you multiply this whole the value then you will get the answer is how much 9618.58 newton after the getting this value we have to go for power transmitted p is equal to ft2 into v by 1000 ft2 how much is the 9618.58 into v how much is the 1.50 by 1000 if you divide this whole the value then you will get the answer is 14.42 kilowatt this power transmitter should be greater than the 12 kilowatt whatever because in the problem it is given as the power transmitter is 12 kilowatt but how much we are getting the power transmitted is 14.42 kilowatts so this means that whatever we solve the problem our design is completely safe for the standpoint of the stress okay i hope so no one is having that doubt regarding this problem if you have the doubt regarding this problem please write down in the comment box and please dear right please dear like subscribe and share okay dear i hope so you will do it thank you dear